Hi, this video is on 3D trig problems, uh, learning intentions, uh, understanding how to draw a 3D diagram, understand how to apply the same basic method that we used in 2D problems to 3D problems, plus a few extra bits such as identifying and shading base triangles and understanding how to pull out 2D triangles from our 3D diagram. Um, also, uh, this is the question we're looking at, understanding how to find a bearing from um, a 3D problem. It's worth just saying quickly, this is a topic that a lot of people find difficult because they find it difficult to visualise um, what's going on in 3D. Um, so don't worry if you find this a bit difficult. Uh, I'll try and show you in a few different ways uh, how you can try and see what's going on. And just ask if you do get stuck or you get lost, pause the video, go back, try it again, uh, stick with it until you think you've got it. Okay, uh, so the question we're going to look at here, um, we have a point due east of 150 metre high tower, angle of elevation to the top 36 degrees, uh, point B which is due north has an angle of elevation of 54 degrees, find the distance and the bearing of B from A. So there's quite a lot going on in this question. We're going to use the same method. Um, first, draw a diagram. Second, write in everything that you know. Third, identify the part you have to find. Fourth, this is the tricky bit, see if you can spot a useful stepping stone. And then finally, work out the stepping stone, which will then take you and enable you to find out your final answer. Some extra things to consider with 3D diagrams. Um, make your diagram large, neat and clear. Draw triangles in the base plane obliquely. I'll explain what that means in a second. Uh, mark in all right angles. Shade triangles in the base plane, and I'll show you that. And redraw each triangle as you're working with it. You'll see that as we work through these five steps here. So our first thing is to draw the diagram. Well, instead of having um, north, south, east, west flat on the ground like that, like we have before, because this is going to be in three dimensions, what we need to do is kind of uh, lay this down, uh, this north, south, east, west. We kind of bend it over and we have our north here, south here, east there, and west there. This enables us to have up going this way. And if we needed it, we'd have down going down there. Now, uh, some of you will see that straight away, which is great. Uh, others, it's just not so obvious. Um, so I'm going to try and show you here um, in three dimensions, just so I can move it around a little bit. What we used to have uh, here is your old-fashioned um, north, south, east, west. And there's no up or down at this stage. We're just looking straight down on the top of it. What we've done is we've kind of moved it around a bit like this so that we have up and down as well. So this is north going off here, south there, east off to that side, west off to that side, and then up and down. Okay, so you can see that north, south, east, west, up and down. That's what we're working with here north, south, east, west, up and down. Now we're going to put our information in, so write in everything that you know. What I'd suggest here, uh, pause the video, try and do it as best you can and then check back and see if you agree. Alright, so point A is due east of a 150 meter high tower. So our tower here is the bit that goes up from the base here, straight up into the ground, straight up there, uh, and that is 150 meters. That's the first thing we know. We also got point A, which is due east, so due east from the base of the tower. So point A is here, and I'm also going to draw that line in here. Oops, sorry. Draw that line in here. There we go. Now I also have, um, this is the angle, sorry, the angle of elevation to the top of that tower is 36 degrees. So if I join point A to the top of the tower, my angle of elevation here is 36 degrees. And because this is due east here and it's flat on the ground, and this is going straight up, that is a right angle, that triangle there. Now, some of you will see that straight away. Others I'll show you again in a second. Uh, now we have point B as well, which is due north. So I travel due north there. Um, I could use a different colour here. Go 
due north along there. And then I look up to the tower and see that the angle of elevation is 54 degrees. Now this is probably the trickiest angle. Oh, sorry. This is probably the trickiest angle to see, but it's just here. And that is uh, 54 degrees. To see 54 degrees there. Okay, um, and I think that's all we know. Let's just check. Uh, so we've got point A, yes, due east, we've used that. 150 meter high tower, we've got that on. Angle of elevation is 36, we've used that. Uh, point B is due north of the tower, the angle of elevation is 54 degrees. Um, and then it says find the distance and bearing of B from A. So we're saying identify the part you have to find. Well, Let's worry about the bearing in a minute. Let's start with the distance. The distance from A to B is going to be, uh, I'll just put this one in a different color here so it stands out. That's what we're looking for there. Now, that means we've got here um, three points on the ground. This point at the base of the tower, this point at base A, this point at base B. Uh, sorry, uh, at B. Now that creates a triangle on the ground. Imagine yourself there walking along there to there to there. That's a triangle. Now this is the base triangle that it says to shade. There we go. So we've now shaded that base triangle. And uh, just two other things. It says to mark in our right angles. We marked in one. Here's another. That's going for this triangle here. And this one here, because if you imagine this is north, south, east and west, and you're going down to north and due east, there's another right angle there. Now I'm going to show you those now, because I don't think that's always obvious. So if you can see it now, that's fantastic. But if not, have a quick look at this. Alright, I've drawn in our triangles here. Now remember this is north going this way, south here east here, west there. Um, we had point A here, which looked up to the top of the, the um, tower. We had point B over here, so point B there, which looked up to the top of the tower. And I've shaded in the base triangle. As you can see, it's a right angle triangle. And you can see as well that this first triangle here, oops, sorry, I've just taken it out. I didn't see that. Um, just put that back. It's also a right angle triangle. There, you can see that there. And if I turn it around, so this was, now looking, there's point B, there's the base of the tower, there's the top of the tower. You can also see that that's also a right angle triangle. Uh, this one was, I think, 54 degrees, that angle there. This angle here, turn it around. Ooh. This angle here. Sorry, it was 36 degrees. So have a look back here. That's what we were looking at. 36 degrees there. Right angle triangle on the floor. 54 degrees there. Okay. All right, so we've drawn our diagram. We've written everything in that we know. We've identified the part we have to find. It's this here. Um, this is between A and B. Uh, we might call that X. See if you can spot a useful stepping stone. All right, well now is the time to start pulling these triangles out to see what we can work with. Um, we've got our base triangle here and we need to find one side of it. So let's draw that. So here's my base triangle. And um, if we have a look at this, what I'm looking for is X, it's a right angle triangle. Uh, I could use Pythagoras or Sokotoa if I had two sides or if I had a side and an angle. At the moment I don't have any of them. But I do know some of the things about these triangles, and those triangles share a side each with the base triangle. You see the bottom of each of my two triangles here gives me one of the sides. So my plan is going to be to work out what these two sides are, and then that will give me that side and that side, and I can use Pythagoras. That's my stepping stone, that's going to be my strategy. Pause the video, see if you can work it out, and check back in a minute or two, and see if we agree. Okay, so what I've done here is taken out this triangle here, um, and drawn it here, and uh, I knew that was 150, 
here and I knew that that was 36 degrees there. I've called this Y, seems we've already got an X, uh, and that is the same side as that there, the bottom of the base triangle there. Uh, similarly, uh, this triangle here, going from the bottom of the base of the tower to the top of the tower and out to point B, that's out to point A, uh, it's 150 high and this is 54 degrees. I've called this one Z because I've already used X and I've already used Y, so um, first I'm going to find out what Y and Z are after my working out here, so I just need to use the calculator. And we have 150 divided by tan 36. Just make sure that you're in degrees. Uh, there we are, make sure you're in degrees. Um, I get 206.4573, so four decimal places. That's 4 dp. And z, I'm going to have 150 divided by tan 54, uh, which gives me 108.9814. Yeah, that's four decimal places there. Okay, so now having worked that out, now use Pythagoras to find. X. Pause the video please, try and work it out and then see if we agree in a minute. Okay, so I've used Pythagoras to find X. Um, a squared plus B squared equals C squared, where C is the longest side. Um, so 206 squared plus 108 squared equals X squared. Gives me 54,501.5623. Uh, square root both sides to get X and that gives me 233.46 meters to two decimal places. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is work out the bearing B from A. So I've cleared a little bit of space here. Now we can work it out in this corner. Um, and the bearing of B from A uh, tells us a few things. First, the fact that it's a bearing means it's going to be a 2D problem. Um, we're probably operating at ground level, uh, as most of these questions are. So um, I'll be using my base triangle here. And it's B from A, this is telling me my starting point, I start at A and go to B. Now, uh, the method should be familiar now, what I'd like to try and do, um, fill in, uh, draw the diagram, fill in everything that you know, and then try and work out uh, what a useful stepping stone would be, then use that stepping stone to find the final answer. Try and have a go on your own, then check back in a second. Okay, so I've drawn my diagram, I've put in all the information that I have, uh, there's one other thing I should add now, and because this is a bearing question, that's going to be any north lines that I know. Okay, here we go. Now the first one, um, I think maybe is more obvious, because uh, it lies on that original north line there, and it goes due east here, the base of that triangle goes due east. Um, but what we've got here is another north line which we've drawn in artificially here, so that goes due north. Now, what we want to find is the bearing of B from A, so we start at A and go to B. Now we're not asked for a true bearing, so the shortest way to do this is to say, well, work out what that angle is and say our answer is going to be north so many degrees west. So that's what we're going to have to find out. Our stepping stone is going to be this angle here. So if you haven't already worked it out, pause the video, try and work out the angle, then see if you can work out the final bit. Now, I've got an, uh, an angle of 27.83 degrees. I've used tan, but really you could have used any um, because we have all three sides, so you could have chosen sine, cos, or tan to work it out. And the most common mistake made at this stage is that people think they're finished. Uh, they've worked out the angle and then they stop, but that's not the bearing. The bearing of B from A is this here. We need to know that. Um, it's a fairly straightforward step from, um, from here to here because we know that that's 90 degrees in total. So the bearing of B from A is going to be 90 minus 27.83 degrees, which gives us a bearing of, I remember we started at north, uh, then we went to, it's going to be, sorry, 90 minus 27.83 gives us 62.17 degrees uh, west, and that is our answer. That is our final answer there. Okay, here were our learning intentions. If there's anything that you're still not sure on, uh, just go back through the video, pause, and try and work it out as you get. Okay.